Hi, I'm Phil Harris, and welcome to your October Market Pulse. And there's lots going on out there in the media about property price at the moment. And to be honest, most of it seems to be pretty negative. Uh, conversations about rising interest rates, rising inflation, and even articles this week showing that more than 80% of all suburbs across Australia are now showing price declines. With all this compiling, that might make you pretty nervous about the property market. So I thought today, let's jump in and take a deep dive and look what's really going on here in the South Australian property market. This week, NAB Chief Economist Alan Alster said underlying inflation is set to surge above 6% for the September quarter. This is going to be the fastest pace since December 1990, with the ultimate result of that being the continuation of rising interest rates. With these elements combined, Australia's economic growth next year has been slashed to just 1.9%, and that's gonna be the slowest pace in more than 20 years outside of the global financial crisis in 2008 and the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, if all that has you a little nervous, don't be. I'm optimistic, and let me show you why. All in all, I think the best way to describe the South Australian property market at the moment is a normalisation. It really is becoming a return to the normal. In September, property prices in South Australia declined by just 0.2% for the month, and for the quarter, we're now sitting at just negative 0.1%. So all in all, South Australian property market is holding relatively strong. Prices are now just 0.3% below the record high, which was in July of this year. The other key thing to really keep into consideration about the local market is that property prices for the last 12 months are still 19% upwards, which is slightly down from the peak of the market, which was previously sitting at 26%. Now, some other really great news for the South Australian market is that the highest annual growth rate in the country for both regional and capital city markets, hard to believe, well, it was regional South Australia coming in at just over 22% growth. Another interesting statistic at the moment is that rental listings across the country are incredibly tight. In fact, they're 35% below the previous five-year average. And with this being the case, I think we're now going to start to see far more investors re-entering the market with better opportunities for buying and certainly some great returns on offer. Well, we've now reached the peak of the selling season as we make the final dash towards Christmas. So please, if you are thinking of selling or need some property management assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out with us. I look forward to catching up with you next month with all of the latest real estate news.